This is Amanda Cox, your Tech Girl PDX, with a cool tip for you today about how to request attachments from your clients. We often have to um, request a driver's licenses or a copy of the oil tank certification. I'm going to show you how to do that easily today. Now I've browsed from my machine and I have pulled in a very simple document. I'm going to go into recipients and routing and I've clicked add me so my information would pull here. I'm going to remove and I'm going to click that again to show you how I did that. Add me brings in my email address and name from the credentials with which I hold my DocuSign account. On the email message the subject here I always 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 tell you to put the address of the property at the very beginning of your email subject line so you can group things together for a real easy envelope management. And then you can put what the document is. I'm putting certification requests and I'm going to say next and it's going to uh, shoot me right into the document that I'm requesting and I'm going to close this quick screen tip and over here are the range of different tabs that I can pull over onto my document. And what we're going to pull today is this signer attachment. I'm going to drag it and drop it right here. And you'll see we've got our different properties for that. Label. We can label this fellow um, oil tank cert. And we can save it. If I click Save as Custom right here, it now becomes populated in my custom tabs. Look at that. Oil tank cert right there. So I could always just drag and drop it onto the next document. So now I'm going to hit Send and Send Anyway. And yes, I do want to sign my envelope now because I want to show you exactly what this looks like. And I think you're going to love it. While it's loading, just remember that your client can either navigate and grab the document and browsing in their machine and uploading an attachment to you. But let's say our guy or gal, don't, they don't have access to it on their machine. It's a paper copy that they've got. No problem. Let them send it to you by fax. I'm going to click on that, and this is not going to interrupt your electronic chain of custody at all. At the end of the signing process, the cover sheet will be printed with instructions to fax all required documents. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to confirm the signing. But you want to see this right over here. You see that's going to fax right back into our, um, our system. I'm going to click Confirm Signing and Print Cover Sheet. This cover page comes back to a very, very specific um, email, email fax number. You'll see this here. I'm going to point out a couple of things. Who it's from, the envelope subject, you see our envelope ID? This is what tells DocuSign what envelope to join it up to. Right back into our electronic chain of custody again. The sender account. And the very, very specific fax number our people are to send it to. Pretty cool stuff right there. And they'll fax it back in. And voila, it will be part of your electronic chain of custody. I hope you like this tip and that you're able to use it. If you've got any other questions on DocuSign, zip forms, social media matters, please submit them to me here on my YouTube channel. This is Amanda Cox. Happy to help you.